Hello everyone and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the part two on the video series under catch-off voltage law. So in the part one, I explain what catch-off voltage law is, and in that part one, we didn't really use um, real values like we are having here. So this example, we are going to be using real values to explain uh, what catch-off voltage law is all about. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you missed the part one of this video, uh, there's a link in the description of this video uh, to the part one of this particular one under catch-off voltage law. Now, so in this circuit, we are asked to calculate, to, uh, we are given three questions under this circuit. The first one says, calculate the current in the circuit. So in this circuit, we are asked to calculate the current and using catch-off voltage law. That's what we are going to be using. And then the second question says that what we should calculate the voltage drop, voltage drop across each resistor. So across the 8 ohm resistor and the 10 ohm resistor, what is the voltage drop across each of them? And then the third one is asking us to verify catch off voltage law if uh, the catch off voltage law is actually true. And remember what catch off voltage law states it states that what the algebraic sum of all the voltage around any closed loop in a circuit is equals to zero. So we are going to be ver verifying that statement if it's actually correct with respect to this particular circuit when we get to the third part of this um, of this question. So with that now, let's start with the question one. So the question one says that what um, we should calculate the current in the circuit. Now remember when I was talking in the part one, I said that the first step you should do is that what you draw, uh, you de decide the direction of your current that you want to pick. And uh, personally, I like to choose start from the clockwise direction. So in clockwise direction, we are going to be having something like this. So this is going to be the direction of our current. I will indicate it there. And then once you indicate the direction of your current that you want to work with, you can decide to choose a clockwise or anti-clockwise. I said that in the part one. Now let's pick the polarity based on the direction of the current. Now I said for the voltage source, the polarity is not always influenced by the uh, direction of the current. So for the voltage source, the longer side positive and then the shorter one negative. Same will apply here. This is plus and this is minus. Now but for other elements, based on the direction of the current, it will move from positive to negative. So in this direction, we are going to be having, this is going to be our plus, minus. And then for the 10 ohm resistors in this direction, so it's going from positive to negative. So now having done that, now let's start to calculate uh, from each, from one node. So let me call this, this is a node. This, let me call this, this is also a node. Then at this point, at this point, so let's call this A, B, C, and then D. So starting from this node, remember, it's a catch-off code, um, voltage law is from one node straight to the other around a closed loop so from a b c d back to a is a closed loop so from a now if you are to move in this direction applying catch up voltage law so once we get here remember the current here is what is i we don't know the value so i and then it is moving from positive to negative that is going to be eight times i and then with respect to the negative from plus to minus that will be minus so this is for question one. So that will be minus 8i. So that is for this. That's the voltage here. So for this one now, remember, I have also explained this, but let me just say it again. Remember that voltage is V is equals to IR. So that's why we are having the um, I, which is the current. We don't know the value. That's why we are having it as I. And then the resistance is 8 ohms. So that gives us the value of the voltage, which is minus 8i. So let's continue. Then for this now, this is i. Current i is flowing through this 10 ohm resistor. And from positive to negative, that will be minus 10i. So that's sorted. And let's continue. If you look at it, for the voltage source 20, it's going from positive to negative. That is going to be minus 20. Now, we are not going to multiply 20 with uh, by uh, I, the current. That's because this current is already in volts. This one is in resistance alone. That's why we are multiplying it with the current. But since this is already in volts, there's no need to multiply it with I. So that will give us minus 20. Look at it from plus to minus in the direction of current, plus to minus. So let's continue from C, we go to D. Now we are on this 25 volts, the voltage source. So from minus to plus, remember from minus to plus, and that will give us plus. So that will be plus 25 is equals to zero. From that, we come back to point A. So there's no other element there. 
point A and that is it here. So now let's simplify this. We have minus 8i minus 10i. So that will give us minus 18i. So okay, minus 18. 18i, then minus 25 plus 25 plus 5 is equals to is equals to zero. So if we should simplify this, we are going to be having minus 18i is equals to minus 5. So if you should divide um, both sides, if you should divide both sides by minus 18, so we are going to be having minus 18i over minus 18 is equals to minus 5 divided by minus 18. So, all right, we still have space down here. So this can cancel this, and then we are going to be having our i is equals to 0 0.278 amperes. Always remember your units, 0 0.278 amperes. Now, using catch of voltage law, we've been able to get the current that is flowing in this particular circuit as 0 0.278 amperes. And that answers uh, question one, the current in the circuit. And since it is a, a series connection, you can see it's in series, that means the current here is 0 0.278 and the current flowing through this 10 ohm resistor is also 0 0.278 amperes so that answers that of uh, question one now let's look at question two it says that we should calculate the voltage drop across each resistor so that means this is uh, 8 ohm resistor if a current of 0 0.278 is passing through it what would be the total voltage at this point and also if a current of 2.7 0 0.278 amperes passing through this resistor of 10 ohm what would be the voltage uh voltage there the vote as i said voltage drop across each resistor so now for us to calculate so this is for the um question two so this is one and this is going to be for question uh two so now let's start with that of the 8 ohm so we are going to be having the voltage drop across the 8 ohm resistor so i'll indicate it like this we are going to be having it as remember the, uh, to calculate voltage we have it voltage to be v is equals to i r so that will be i times r and then r is 8 so that will be giving us we already got in our i to be that's our current to be 0 0.278 times 8 so if you multiply that let's see all right so that will give us 2.22 Two, two volts always remember your units so that's what voted uh, drop across the 8 ohm resistor so now let's do that of the 10 ohm so that'll be v and then 10 ohm that'll be v is equals to i times the resistance of the 10 ohm resistor and that'll be 0 0.278 times 10 i hope you can still see it okay and that's going to give us 2.78 volts so with that now we've been able to answer the question one and question two this is the current uh in the circuit and this is the voltage drop across the eight, the eight ohm is 2.22 and the 10 ohms is equals to 2.78 now let's look at the third one say we should verify what uh catch up voltage law based on this circuit and the calculation we've done we are going to verify if it is actually uh what catch up uh, voltage law is all about maybe it's actually correct and maybe this question is in line with that so for us to to do that let me just rub this part off and then we take note of some values all right from our calculation we already know that our i current is what 0 0.278 amperes we already know that the voltage drop across the 8 ohm resistor is 2.22 volts and then we already know that the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor is equals to 2.78 volts so i can go ahead and rub everything off because of our space so you can write this down so that because i want to rub this and this i want to rub it off all right so welcome back now let's verify kvl and remember that uh, catch up voltage law says that what the algebraic sum of the voltage in a closed circuit that is in this particular loop now it should equals to zero now let's verify if it's going to give us zero so let's bring back now let's use this now from A. If you remember that for this um, 
8 ohm resistor, we've gotten the value to be 2.22 volts. But remember that is um, is negative. That's from plus to minus, so that will be minus 2.22 volts. So let's continue. For the 10 ohm, we are giving we have a uh, the voltage drop here to be 2.78. But based on the direction that we are using, that's negative. For so from plus to minus, that will be minus 2.78. So when we get here, this is already in volts already. So from plus to minus. And that will going to give us minus 20 volts. And then when you come in, this is another source here. From minus to plus, that will going to be us plus 25. So all things being equal, it's supposed to give us is equals to zero. So now let's let's see. By the time we have um, minus 2.22, minus 2.78, and minus 20, if you add this in your calculator, you are going to be having minus 25, minus 25 then plus 25 and that will give us zero so you can see that this um, circuit is in line with catch up voltage law that says that what your jebric sum of current um, in a closed loop um, is equals to what to zero now in other words what it simply means is that we can also say that the total voltage that is being generated by the for, uh, by the uh, voltage source which is the battery is also being used up by what by the two resistors that we are having in the circuit so if you have any question uh, with what uh, with, the, with regards to this video please leave them in the comment section below if you have any doubt or any video request also you can drop it there and please make sure you share this video if you find value in it please share and also subscribe to this channel